You know, guys, I think it's often hard to keep things in the proper perspective, to keep things in focus, okay? It's hard to see what's right in front of our faces sometimes as this light just drops right off, comes back on here. We've got a, a cooler here for this tower. We've got some other footage, a, a, literally a helicopter just flew over me. And there's a police officer sitting out in the parking lot. It's a nice guy, okay? You know, this is a basketball court. This is the basketball court of the school Anne Frank in Dallas, Texas. The largest elementary school in the Dallas Independent School District with a largely minority, you know, student body. Um, and again, you know, I, I hope you guys can hear me well with the, the noise of this tower here. But, you know, you know, this says warning. Beyond this point, radio frequency fields at this site may exceed FCC rules for human exposure. For your safety, obey all posted signs and site guidelines for working in radio frequency environments. Okay, this is a school. They're trusting the people who put this here. Um, excuse me. This is like a pop-up book. Okay? A real one. Because according to this sign, I shouldn't be here. And there certainly should not be children, elementary school age children, at this facility, which is an institution um, that is just, it's debauchery. It's, it's full of subterfuge and deception. And it's absolutely terrible, okay? Um, you know, again, this is clearly public school property um, and you know by all accounts this thing should not be here and it's like these guys want to tell us first and that's a hallmark of those that perpetrate these types of crimes okay I've taken that same approach towards them I like to tell them that I'm coming for them and uh, I am and you know I'm not the only one who's okay with it Okay, I'll tell you this right now. All cops out there ain't crooked. Okay, there's people out here who still do what they do for the right reasons. You know, there's people out here playing soccer every night, guys. You know, there's a playground over there you can't see very well right now. But God bless those. There's a vent, you know, kicking out God knows what. Um, you know, it's just, it's abhorrent to think of this device um, on a public school basketball court named after a Holocaust victim. You know, if you look on this side of the building, you can see that there's flags incorporated into the architecture. That's not the best example. And you can't really quite see the window panes there. I've heard some say that it looks like a swastika, but you know, what is it all about perception? School supplies? You know, I don't think highly charged electromagnetic device was on the frickin' list, people. Okay? You know, this is an issue. And it's an issue that needs to be tackled by the public. And it needs to be a grassroots effort because mainstream media sources refuse to pick this up. Okay? Um, you know, I'll go ahead and, you know, I'm not here to pick a fight with anybody. I I've given this information to many people, including Alex Jones um, and others. Roxy Lopez. Um, Alfred Lambermont Weber. And they have refused to pick it up, although clearly they come out with information that's vital that the mainstream media won't give us. Um, I'll leave it up to you to figure out why they don't tell you the whole truth. You know, I'm not going to act like I have all the answers here, guys, because I don't. But, you know, take a good look at what you're seeing here. Because these, these, these flags incorporated into the architecture here go the same way that they did when I was a young boy and I would hold my hand over my heart and I would pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation indivisible with liberty and justice for all uh, I feel like I skipped a line there but it's been years you know let's face it they try to weed that stuff right out of us these days, you know, kids don't say the Pledge of Allegiance anymore. We live in a post-constitutional America. You know, there's no doubt about that fact, guys. And so, there was a national renovation project amongst schools. 
um, you know, the, the FCC mandated to major telecom companies in 1996, these back doors into our phones, they can look at you through the camera in your device. You know, that stuff was all mandated. You know, they can triangulate your, your past and current position, your web cache, everything. Okay, that stuff was written into federal law in 1996. The deadline at which it had to be met was October of 2001. Okay, a very clear indicator of an advanced knowledge of 9-11. The Patriot Act was signed. All that stuff became legal, quote, legal. Okay, if we look over here under the renovation project, the flags are going backwards, okay? Damn it if they're not. Put things into perspective for yourself. You know, my buddy's like, yeah, that's a swastika window pane. I don't want to, you know, give it to you too rough, folks. But we're clearly dealing with the fashion that has been here since the end of World War II that was gathered up by the OSS that had a clear eugenics agenda, mind control, population control, um, and many other types of things. Um, and they had just been responsible for the death of over six million people and horrific deaths and had gone and it continued to exponentially kill people, give them disease since that time on such a broad basis. We can barely comprehend the magnitude of it, okay? And I hope that that sinks in a little bit, guys, because, you know, there are devices known to cause serious health hazards on public school property in direct proximity and an unsafe proximity of children. And tell me what this is. Am I making this up? Am I making this up, folks? Okay. I don't think so. What is the meaning of it? And I try to tell folks. I'll tell you the truth why they're here. They ain't sitting up there with sniper guns, are they? This is an important work to do. And people need to wake up and see what's going on around them and say, you know what? These guys are hurting our kids. We're not going to stand for it anymore. There is still sovereignty to be maintained in the United States of America. And we will put our foot down and we will not take this shit anymore from people. Okay? All right? So I hope that makes sense, guys. You know, and, and God bless all of you guys. You know, I, I have not been ashamed of the name of Jesus Christ. It means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. And, and people, you know... <laughs> get hung up I get hung up we've all gotten hung up on the judgment the hypocrisy the control that we've seen and what's become known as the, you know the church we take that word in Greek kukios in the oldest manuscripts it means the called out ones it doesn't mean book it doesn't mean building it means you know John fourteen twelve says we can do what Jesus did and more in red letters if you want to argue with it go read it and so don't judge me please for my faith in Jesus Christ, that name means love. It's the only thing that's ever kept me alive. I'm out here dealing with highly classified information trying to bust a paperclip faction that's infiltrated our government, for Christ's sakes, with protection. That's obvious. Okay? So declassify that. All right? And it is what it is, people. We have to stand up. You know? And it's got to go above two stars or three stars, whatever, here. Okay? Take it up there. Um... You know, please, God, this stuff has to stop. So, much love to you guys, folks. And to top it all off, there's a big old moon out there. This is August 22nd, 2013, and I am thankful to have been born on this day 36 years ago. Um, and all the trials that I've been through in my life, just like all the rest of us, can be forged. It's a fire we walk through. We are forged into a weapon against this type of barbarity barbarianism call it what you want guys it's absolutely terrible and horrific what goes on out here and we don't need it okay and this device clearly should not be there and we've got to do something about it okay Here. Excuse me, sir. Hey, sir. This one. I, oh, you're on the radio. Sorry. What's up? Uh, I was just saying who you were. You're not the guy who debriefs the two stars, are you? 
that? Are you the guy who debriefs no, the two stars? No, no. Okay. Uh, can I ask you a question, officer? Yeah. What's up? I just got a call. What's okay, look, that's a device known to cause serious health hazards. I know. I heard about it. We're busting it. Okay? All right. God bless you. Yep. All right. Careful, brother. <laughs>